My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We got a 66 Chevy Caprice. It's got a custom appearance that will grab your attention, but it's actually a numbers matching big block 396 numbers match trans and rear end California built car, super clean metal car has been detailed top to bottom in and out. If you go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs, study about a hundred pictures, get the price, not only on this car, but on a few hundred collector cars we have that are all for sale. If you enjoy the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be the first to see them as they come out. Right now, join me, let's go for a spin in the 66 Caprice Big Block. Starting with the underneath, and we do have underside pictures on our website, the floors are beautiful. I mean, the seams and the factory pinch welds, the inner rockers, clean, clean metal. They're painted a nice satin black. It looks new under there. Bottom of the motor is super clean. Has a chrome oil pan, high torque starter, uh, the flywheel covers there. Uh, it has the turbo 400 transmission. It's the original one to the car. Still has a tag on the side of it. And it has its original 308 uh, rear end. I think it's a 12 bolt rear end that's in there. Nice sounding dual exhaust system. Uh, the shocks are new. It's got drum brakes at all four corners. The owner did have those redone. Uh, the owner of the car that we acquired it from has had this 24 years. It's owned it a long time. This paint job's 15 years old. It's gorgeous. A um, couple minor imperfections I'll point out to you in just a second here. It's got the three-tone. You know, the copper and the, this is actually GM white and then the silver and then it has the blue outline. It's smooth, you don't feel it. This is a, a really nice custom paint job. I'm going to call the car rust free because everywhere you look it's dry and clean and when they stripped it down it was clean. There is one bubble on the bottom corner of this door, size of my pinky nail, one bubble. And if you look from under the doors it's clean so it must have just been a little pitting there or something like that. Beautiful paint across the hood. There's a couple like crow's feet minor hairline cracks right here. And then somewhere back in the 70s probably someone did put a lock on the hood. We actually have the key so that does work. <clears throat> it's got the cross flag 396 emblems are new. Look how nice the bumper fits the body line. All the body lines are really nice. They're all nice and square. Uh, it's got the correct antenna looks new. Windshield's nice and clear. All the stainless and the chrome, all this trim is all really nice. Door handles. So really, really nice trim on the whole car. Uh, this side's all smooth and clean. The rear bumper, tail lights, all this is really sharp. Tail lights are probably original. Bumper's been re-chromed. It has three holes right here from the original dealership's uh, tag that went there, which we don't have couple light scratches in the glass there but again really dry all down here this is super clean metal I'm feeling underneath here where the two come together dry clean metal and this paint continues on right into the jam right in the door even up in front here even the very edge of the fender has the three-tone paint on it it's got a bow tie mirror 20 inch polished torque thrust wheels performance tires my opinion, it sits a little high in front. I'd probably do something about the, the spring height, uh, maybe change the springs, bring the front end down a little bit. Up front, all this is beautiful. There's like one rock dent there, but all this is in excellent shape. Numbers matching, 396 motor. The owner had it completely rebuilt. He said it was dyno tuned at 350 horsepower at the rear wheels. Uh, it's an original 325 horse engine, but does have some upgrades, a little bit hotter cam, Edelbrock intake, big dual feed, Holly carb. <clears throat> uh, it's got a new aluminum radiator with a polished overflow bottle. Everything in here is neat and tidy. The washer, 
uh, squirters are hooked up, the wiper motor, nice, nice clean motor compartment. The interior is really nice. The seats are nice and, and plump. It's got the, uh, the tufted material and the material is not worn down flat. It's still um, you know, nice and firm. It's all redone, matching door panels. This is cloth and it's got the wood grain. The Caprice was a little bit higher trim level. Huge trunk. There's a full size spare and it barely even takes up any room in here. Uh, bottom of the trunk lid and jam are painted beautifully. Nice soft rubber. The jack and spare are there. They're mounted properly. Completely clean trunk compartment. Uh, no rust, no patches in here at all. I was saying the interior, front and back seats are excellent. It has seat belts front and back. Uh, door panels are mint. The whole dash area is really nice. All the bezels, the lenses, the wood grain, the trim, the heater control panel, uh, up above the headliner, the visors, the mirror, it's all mint. Back in the motor compartment, it's got some nice Chevrolet chrome valve covers and air cleaner, they match. It does feature power steering and power brakes. Uh, the steering box looks clean. Um, you know, the brackets are painted, the firewall's all nice clean metal, so just real nice and tidy. Looks like we put a battery in there. Carpet's been replaced. It does have a stereo system. It's got six by nine speakers. It's got the nice mesh tray back here and uh, speakers are underneath. It's got a stereo in the dash. There is a CD changer stuffed in where the glove box would be. So you open it up and it's kind of tacky. There's a big CD changer sitting there, but nothing is like broken or, or cut up. You just have to put a new glove box liner in there if you want to take that out. Let me fire it up. Hear that cam? That's nice. Exceptionally nice interior. Again, just all the little nooks and crannies, knobs and levers are really nice looking. He said there's less than a thousand miles on the motor. This paint job's 15 years old. I still think it looks great. Anyone walks up to it, it gives that appearance of a you know, show car. A couple minor flaws I pointed out that you'll find if you look for them. Uh, but go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to uh, locate us or contact us, I should say. And we'll help answer any questions you have about the car, the process, delivery, financing. We can help with all of that at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified. You'll see the, first, the next video first as it comes out. Thanks for watching.